just from a setup position, you said separate, I'm gonna imagine I have that stick in there, separate my pelvis from my rib cage, yep. and then separate my rib cage from my shoulder. Exactly. So it's like, that's kind of like initial test number one. Pelvis, rib and, cage, and my shoulder staying here the whole way. And you'll see, now you've got side bend in just side, by you yeah. turning that. So you didn't even have to think about that. That came very naturally right there. Yeah, 100%. So it definitely feels when I'm doing that, my left hip's working around, my rib cage is working around. I'm keeping that shoulder almost like it's like cemented in there just for a second. Exactly. And I definitely feel that crunch. Yep. Like you said, without me having to feel that. So if I can feel what that is first, and obviously if I was looking at like a mirror or video or something, that would give me nice feedback. And then I'm slowly, would I slowly kind of, hey, can I do that with a full swing right away? Okay. What I would recommend is doing it at a speed that you can really neurologically, you can connect with what's going on. Like